Lynn is not accepting any new cannabis retail applications. The mayor is worried the number of stores could overwhelm the city of nearly 7,400 people. Here's Carla Sosa. The resolution was approved three to one at the latest city council meeting. Council members say the existing ordinance was passed as a living document to be reviewed and changed as appropriate. Right now, we can't process that request, of course, because of the resolution that was passed. Belen City Council is no longer accepting applications for cannabis-related businesses. Right now, the city has three cannabis stores. Four applications are waiting approval. Mayor Pro Temp Danny Bernal is against the application pause, saying the new businesses have helped the city. From 2021 to now, Bernal says the city's ranked around $16,000 in gross receipt tax. Uh, they're renovating vacant buildings within the city um, and that would be awesome to see them you know open up because uh, it's vacant buildings here in Blinn are a nuisance and uh, the fact that they're spending their money and investing in our city is awesome. But Mayor Robert Noblin is worried businesses won't stay long. He sent us a statement which reads in part, we do not want to fill vacant buildings only to have them vacant again within months due to the abundance of supply and little demand. He proposed pausing applications to have time to review what he's calling the fast-moving cannabis industry in Belen. The city will have seven stores total when the four currently are pending to be approved. In many locations where we probably had uh, not another competitor for two or three miles, now we probably have seven within, you know, three blocks. In Albuquerque, the CEO of Ultra Health says they've been in business for over a decade and have seen how fast the industry is growing. The city's website shows Albuquerque has 148 cannabis retail locations. The planning department says it's receiving five or fewer applications per week. Right now, only one is under review. So yes, we've seen a lot of local competition. Duke Rodriguez understands the Belen's mayor's concern about new businesses surviving in a tough market. You know, the neighborhoods know who we are. And I don't think just because you pop a sign in front of your window and you're saying you're now a new dispensary, that guarantees you're going to win. That guarantees you're going to gain market share. The city of Albuquerque had one of the highest sale numbers in August. The city council is not considering any caps at this time. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Carla. It's unknown how long the city of Berlin will halt accepting new applications.